Hello， 大家好，我系 Miss Anna。咁今集咧，我就想讲下关于 DSE 英文 writing 里面咧，或者 speaking 里面咧，我哋可以用嘅 phrases。咁今集咧，我嘅 focus 就会喺 similarities and differences 噶啦。我已经拍过两集关于呢啲英文啦。咁 so far 个 feedback 好似都 OK， 咁所以我就谂住再 explain 多啲俾大家知啦。好多時候喺我哋句子裏面嘅 elaboration 咧，其實都係會用到好多嘅比較嚟到作為一個展述嘅。我首先咧就會講一下講 similarities 嘅時候，我哋可以用邊幾個 phrases 啦。接住就係 differences。咁呢一啲嘅 phrases 咧，一定足夠應付你校內嘅 exam 啦。又或者如果你而家係讀緊大學咧 ，academic essay， 好多時候都會用到呢啲 phrases。咁首先我會 start with similarities 啦。咁我哋分別就有三個 phrases 啦。第一個就係 similar to、tantamount to 同埋 amount to。我哋通常咧就會比較 A 啦，就係原本一個 idea 啦，同埋一個 B 我哋想比較嘅嗰個 idea 嘅。咁但係 A 同 B 咧都一定要係 noun phrase 先做到嘅。通常本質差唔多或者個性質差唔多嘅嘢咧，我哋都會將 A 同 B 諗上關聯咁樣嘅。咁第一個 example 咧。就會係 participating in a marathon is similar or tantamount to experiencing the ups and downs in life。意思即係參與馬拉松咧，同埋呢個經歷人生嘅高低起伏咧，好相似。participating in a marathon 呢個係屬於 subject A， which is 一個 noun phrase 嚟嘅。咁我之前都講過，如果你係要將一個 verb 轉做一個 noun phrase 嘅話咧，你後面係要加 ing 嘅。咁而 subject B experiencing the ups and downs in life， 咁呢一個都係 start with 一個 verb 啦，一個動詞。雖然佢係 to 後面啦，咁但係我哋都要加 ing 嘅。咁而第二個 example 咧就係、是、taking care of the countless patients diagnosed with COVID-19 amounted to adding heavier burden for the medical staff。咁呢個意思呢，就係照顧確診武漢肺炎嘅病人，相當於加重醫療人員嘅負擔。咁 amount to 呢，其實就同前面我 explain 嗰兩個有少少唔同，所以我特登拆開咗嚟講嘅。咁佢嘅意思呢，就係有啲 add up to 咁樣啦，就唔 exactly 係。相當於或者相等於咁樣解嘅，之前嗰啲嘢累積去到好沉重嘅一個負擔啦。就例如呢個例句裏面 t a k i n g care 呢啲嘅 patients 啦，咁都係一個 gerund 開頭嘅 ，amount e d to adding heavier burden。可能因為之前呢啲嘅醫療人員已經係一個壓力啦，喺急症室，咁而家更多嘅 patients 令到佢哋更多嘅壓力，所以我哋就會用 amount e d to instead of is similar to 啦。咁但係如果你覺得 amount to 呢一個 phrase 好難用，或者你唔係咁清楚，覺得好 confusing 嘅話呢，你就可以用返 is similar 或者 is tantamount to。咁 tantamount 都係一個好好嘅字去到 paraphrase similar 嘅。咁講完 similarities 之後呢，我哋就落去 differences 啦。咁即係話比較兩件事 ，subject A 同埋 subject B 有乜嘢唔同？咁第一個 phrase 我會介紹俾大家嘅呢，就係 in comparison with 或者係 in contrast to， 即係對比嘅意思啦。咁但係要留意嘅係 ，comparison 係跟 with，contrast 係跟 to 嘅。Example one 呢，就係 the IB route increases students' likelihood to be admitted to local universities in comparison with。或者係 in contrast to the notoriously stressful DSE curriculum。咁呢一度大家有估唔估到 subject A 同埋 subject B 係乜嘢咧 ？subject A 咧應該就係 the IB route 啦。咁而 subject B 咧就係 the notoriously stressful DSE curriculum。咁 reading exam 有時都會問你乜嘢 is comparable to。The IB route 啊，你嘅答案咧就唔係 DSE curriculum 咁簡單。我哋通常咧，如果有個 article 呢個 situation 就係 the， 咁所以我哋就會由 the 開始，就例如話 the notoriously stressful DSE curriculum， 咁加咗啲形容詞，咁我哋通常都會擺埋落去，令到個答案更加完整嘅。咁所以呢個就住 reading skill 咧，其實都係有幫助嘅。成句嘅意思咧就係對比惡名昭彰啦 ，notoriously。嘅高壓 DSE 課程咧 ，IB 課程咧 
能够提高学生被本地大学嘅录取机会。be admitted to 呢個係 passive voice 啦，被人 admit 入去間 university 咁樣。啱啱呢個 example 呢，其實我係特登加咗少少形容詞啦，唔係話一定要係就咁一個 noun 咁 boring 嘅。Example two 呢，我都用咗同一個 idea 嘅，因為我唔想令到呢件事好 confusing 啦。咁就係 what sets the IB route apart from the DSE curriculum。Is that it focuses more on students' creativity and critical thinking. 咁呢度咧，我就冇再用上邊嗰個 vocab 嘅，我就用咗另一個方法去表達同一個 idea 啦。咁成句嘅意思咧，就係 IB 課程同埋 DSE 嘅課程唔同之處咧，就係佢更加着重於學生嘅創意同埋批判性思維。Subject A 咧，其實都係 the IB rules 啦。因為我後面已經解釋咗個分別係喺邊 ，subject B 咧就淨係 the DSE curriculum。It focuses more on students' creativity and critical thinking， 就係講緊佢哋之間嘅分別。咁 it 咧就係 refers to subject A， 因為我哋擺咗 subject A 先嘅，我哋想比較佢嘅本質。同 B 嗰個係一個被比較嘅一個 subject 嚟嘅，咁所以我哋後面嗰個重點咧會擺翻係同 subject A 有關嘅特點或者性質啦。我哋講 differences 嘅時候咧，其實我哋會更加仔細啦，就係、是、講翻嗰個分別在於邊度。咁因為 similar 嘅話，其實大家性質相似，我哋都唔需要特別。再描繪，咁所以解釋上面咧 differences 嗰度就會比較多嘅。住頭先嗰幾個例子咧，就希望可以有多啲嘅 variety 啦，喺你哋嘅 sentence pattern 方面 ，similarities and differences 可以喺一篇文裏面出現幾次嘅。咁但係如果我哋每次都話 similarly in contrast， 咁好似就有啲悶啦。如果你有咩唔清楚或者唔明白嘅話咧，可以喺樓下 comment section 嗰度再問我啦。全部 phrases 或者句子咧都係。我寫嘅呢啲全部都係我親身自己有用過嘅 phrase 嘅，就唔係喺網上 dictionary 嗰度 copy 出嚟嘅。Anyway， 希望呢段片可以幫到大家啦，同埋祝大家新年快樂，拜拜。